Like a Virgin is all about a girl who digs a guy with a big dick. The whole song is a metaphor for big dicks. No, it's not. It's about some girl who's been fucked over a few times, then she meets some sensitive guy who comes whoa, whoa. along and- Whoa, time out, Green Bay. Tell that bullshit to the tourists. Toby, who the fuck is Toby? Toby, Toby, think, think, think. It's not about some sensitive girl who meets a nice boy. Now, granted, that's what True Blue is about. No argument about that. Hmm. Which one's True Blue? You don't remember True Blue? Shit, I don't even follow this Dobbs and Bob shit, and I know True Blue. Look, asshole, I didn't say I ain't heard of it. I just asked, how does it go? Now, excuse me for not being the world's biggest Madonna fan. <laughs> I hate Madonna. I like her earlier stuff. You know, Lucky Star, Borderline. Once she got into that Papa Don't Preach phase, I don't know, I just tuned out. Hey, fuck all that. You're gonna make me lose my train of thought. Fuck, Toby's that little China girl. What's that? Found this old dress book and a jacket I haven't worn in a coon's age. Toby, 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 what the fuck was her last name? Where was I? Uh, you were telling us that True Blue was about a sensitive girl who meets a real nice guy and how like a virgin is a metaphor for big dicks. Let me tell you what like a virgin's all about. It's about some coos who's a regular fuck machine. I mean, all the time. Morning, day, night, afternoon. Dick, 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 dick. How many dicks was that? A lot. Then one day, she meets a John Holmes motherfucker, and it's like, whoa, baby. This guy's like Charles Bronson, The Great Escape. He's digging tunnels. Now, she's getting this serious dick action, and she feels something she ain't felt since forever. Pain. Chew? Toby Chew? <sighs> no. It hurts. It hurts her. It shouldn't hurt. Her pussy should be bubble yum by now. But when this cat fucks her, it hurts. The pain is reminding a fuck machine of what it was once like to be a virgin. Hence, like a virgin. Wong. <laughs> fuck you, wrong. I'm right. What the fuck do you know about it anyways? You're still listening to Jerry fucking Valley. Not wrong, dumbass. Wong, as in the Chinese name. Fuck, give me this thing. What the fuck do you think you're doing? Give me my book back. Give it back when we leave, Joe. What do you mean, give it back when we leave? I want it back now. You know, for the past 15 minutes now, all you've been droning on about is, um, let me see, Toby, 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 Toby Chan, Charlie Chan. Fuck, I got McDonough's big fucking dick coming out of my right ear, and I got Toby Jap, I don't know, coming out of my left. What do you care? When you're annoying as hell, I care a lot. Give me back my book. You gonna put it away? I'll do whatever I damn well wanna do with it. Well, sorry then, Joe, I'm afraid I'm gonna have to keep it. Joe, you want me to shoot him for you? Motherfucker, if you shoot me in a dream, you better wake up and apologize. Have you guys been listening to K. Billy's Sounds of the 70s weekend? Yeah, it's fucking great, isn't it? Can you believe the songs they've been playing? No, I can't. Do you know what I heard the other day? Heartbeat, it's Love Beat by little Tony DeFranco and the DeFranco family. I haven't heard that since the fifth fucking grade. When I was coming down here, I was playing it. And the night the lights went out and Georgia came on. Now I ain't heard that song since it was big. But when it was big, I heard it a million trillion times. I had it on this morning and I just realized for the first time that the lady singing the song was the one who killed Andy. You didn't know Vicky Lawrence killed the guy? I thought the cheating wife shot Andy. No, no, it played in the song. I know, I heard it. I must have zoned out before. I thought when she said that little sister stuff, she was talking about her sister-in-law, the cheating wife. No, she did. She killed the cheating wife, too. You know the part in Gypsies, Trance, and Thieves when she says Papa would have shot him if he knew what he'd done? I could never figure out what he did. <laughs> 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 All right. I'll take care of this. You guys take care of the tip. 
And when I get back, I want my fucking book back. Sorry, Joe. It's my book now. Blonde, you want to shoot this piece of shit for me? All right, everyone, cough up, cough up some green for the little lady. Come on, cough up a buck. I don't tip. What do you mean you don't tip? I don't believe in it. You don't believe in it? I love this kid. He's a madman, this guy. Do you have an idea what these ladies make? They make squat. Oh, if they don't make enough money then, then they can quit. <laughs> I don't even know a Jew would have the balls to say that. Now let's get this straight. You never ever tip? I don't tip because society says I have to. I tip when somebody really deserves one, when someone really puts forth the effort. But this t tipping automatically, man, that's shit for the birds. Our girl was nice. Our girl was okay. She was nothing special, all right? What's something special? She takes you in the back, sucks your dick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd go for 12% for that. Look, we've been here a long fucking time, all right? And she's filled up my cup three times now. When I order coffee, I want it filled up six times. What if she's too busy? Too busy should be in no waitress's vocabulary. Excuse me, Mr. White, but the last thing you need right now is another cup of coffee. Look, these ladies ain't starving to death, all right? They make minimum wage. Hell, when I worked minimum wage, I didn't have a job that society deemed, deemed tip-worthy. Ah, now we're getting down to it. It's not that just he's a cheap bastard. Oh, that's sad, too. It is that, too. But it's also that he couldn't get a waiter's job. You talk like a fucking dishwasher, you know? Those fucking guns and their fucking dips. So you don't care that they're counting on your tip to live? You know what that is, gentlemen? That right there is the world's smallest violin playing for all the waitresses. You don't know what you're talking about. These people bust their ass. This is a hard job. Yeah. So it's working at McDonald's, but you don't feel they need to tip then. They're serving you food. It, you know, society says, hey, tip these guys over here, but hey, don't tip them over there. Now that's bullshit. Yeah, but she worked harder than those kids down at McDonald's. I don't see her cleaning any fryers, do you? These people are tax on the tips they make. When you stiff them, you cost them money. Waitressing is the number one occupation for female non-college graduates in the country. It's basically the one job any woman can get and make a living off of. The reason is because of tips. Oh, fuck that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Look, all right? I'm sorry that the government taxes their tips. I really do. But that's not my fucking problem, all right? It just seems that waitresses are just one of the many groups that the government fucks up the ass on a regular basis, all right? Now, show me a piece of paper that says they shouldn't do that, and I'll sign it. Put it to a vote, and I'll vote for it. But I'll tell you what I won't do. I won't play ball. All right? And this whole, like, no college bullshit, I got three words for you. Learn to fucking type. All right? If they expect me to help out with the rent, then they're in for a big fucking surprise. Just convince me. Give me my buck back. No one gets that money back. Okay, Ramblers, let's get rambling. Wait a minute. Who didn't throw in? Mr. White. Mr. White? Why? He don't tip. He don't tip. You don't tip. Why? He don't believe in it. He don't believe in it. Nope. Shut up. Cough up the buck, you cheap bastard. I pay for your goddamn breakfast. All right. Because you paid for my breakfast. But normally, I wouldn't do this. Never mind what you normally do. See what I have to deal with? Fucking infants. Deal with a bunch of fucking infants. <laughs> 